InfoWars, the most banned network in the world. It is very important that InfoWars and yours truly, Alex Jones, not get credit for being right. Because when people continue to believe that I magically know what's coming next, and I'm a prophet, we lose. That's not what's happening. If I read the newspaper and it tells me that William Shatner is coming to town and I can buy tickets in a month to go see him, I'm not a prophet for knowing William Shatner is going to show up on a certain date, like the time 15 years ago I saw it in the paper and bought tickets for my wife and I. I read it in the paper, I knew William Shatner was coming, I paid my hundred bucks, I went and saw William Shatner. The reason we know the whole COVID thing is staged is the Rockefeller Foundation, I'm getting chills, in 2010 and then the Bill Gates Foundation in 2019, wargamed and drilled two events out of more than a hundred that I don't have time to mention here. Lockstep in 2010, event 201 in 2019 and in it they laid out how there'll be a global pandemic it'll bring in global government the WHO will be made the authority of the planet and then they will have contact tracing everywhere with a global bureaucracy that trains us to accept their control and that we would then have apps on our phones that track us in real time and control social distancing and that then will control whether we can fly or then have a job or go to a store or leave our houses. And they talk about how it's a global authoritarianism, but how it's good for us and how they're going to put the pressure on, then release it, put the pressure on, release it, put the pressure, but still tighten down each time. So that's how I told you six, seven months ago when this started, they'll tighten down, they'll release. They'll tighten down even more, they'll release. And now that's what they're doing because it's all wargamed out. It's all a program. It's an agenda. And they are using tests that even the New York Times reported back in 2007 and 2010 with headlines like the pandemic that wasn't, that these type of tests for the flu and for coronavirus are almost always false positive because if you have any of the detritus of already having an infection in the last decade or so of the flu, or of Corona, you're gonna show that you're positive. So again, they admit it's all fraud. They admit it's all a scam. It wasn't 2.5 million or 2.2 million that died. It's 150,000 and almost all of those are people that died of other things. But still we're told, sorry, we're gonna turn your water and your power off in California if you have a party. Oh, sorry, CNN says, just like we wear seatbelts, America will submit to wearing masks at all times, including in your house. This is a dystopia. We talk about Islam making women wear things over their mask as an act of power and domination. That's all this is. And Fauci says it's about training you to submit to science. Except he's been wrong. He's lied about everything he said at every point at every level. And he sat with Bill Melinda Gates at the UN level, at the WHO, who is in control and who is running the entire show. They create the directives those directives come down to us and then they have corporations and blue cities and blue states implement it regardless of what the federal government does and when the feds don't do everything they want they say oh you've caused the death and again all of that based on fraud and then Fauci throws the opening pitch at a major league baseball game and throws it way into left field the worst you've ever seen and they even praise that because criticism of him is illegal when Trump tweets out the truth about hydroxychloroquine or anything else, they ban the president now because Fauci and the UN are our gods. About a week ago, Gateway Pundit reported on a public operation between the federal government and Yale, testing 15 different systems to brainwash you and make you submit. But they've already found in the study the best way is shaming you and saying you're gonna make other people sick if you don't wear the mask. And they also talk about telling you that you're a hero when you wear the mask and other things to manipulate you. And again, it's all based on fraud. The M95 mask only protects air coming in, not out. It's totally unfiltered, but that's a fraud to begin with. Top scientists in Holland and Sweden have come out and said it's a total fraud. It doesn't protect people. Again, it's an act of submission preparing you for the global social credit score that they're gonna use that's tied to this new medical ID app that's already on all the droids and all the iPhones, and the two companies are working together to bring forward this system and force you onto it. 
Already, Virginia, California, and other states are taking the federal dollars that Congress has given them and putting out apps that they're making government employees and big corporate employees all use to monitor their distance from others and to monitor who they've been around so they can then be made suspect when somebody has a false positive COVID test. They also follow the NIH and UN directive in Virginia and even Texas, now it's the majority of states, that if one person has COVID-19, one person tests positive, most of the time false, 15 around them are then told they have it. That's why people have never been in a clinic or never been tested are being told they have COVID-19. And again, the fraud is all admitted. They call it a metric or a formulae. What it is, is smoke and mirrors and a lie. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have to speak out against this. We have to say no to this and we have to become conscious of it and warn others. But there's a very exciting phenomenon taking place right now. Denise Richards and all these other so-called Hollywood stars are now tweeting and Facebooking about how they use Faraday cage pouches to put around their phones so they can't be tracked by the government, by contact tracers, uh, and of course by stalkers, by hackers, you name it. And a lot of the general public is getting really excited. We've been selling privacy pockets for more than 10 years, little Faraday cages that you put your phone in and then the cell towers can't ping it and you can't be tracked. It's just a good basic thing to do to protect your privacy, but also to train yourself to realize that this phone is a Trojan horse of the globalist. It has a lot of good uses, but it is a system designed to track, control, and trace us and bring in the global social credit score that's already been wargamed in China. We normally sold a couple hundred of these a month. We're selling a thousand a day of these on average because people really get it and they're wanting to educate others. They're buying usually three or four of them to give to friends and family and then educating people about this. So the public is really awake right now. They understand what's happening. This is just a stopgap measure. We need Congress to pass laws to outlaw this tracking, involuntary tracking, and we need to educate the public more about what's happening so that we can stop this system. This is how the global corporate has planned to take full control of the planet and micromanage every facet of our lives and shut down all small businesses and farms and infrastructure they don't control. That's the admitted plan of this vertical integration. So research more of these facts at man.video. Go to InfoWarsStore.com and get your privacy pocket in one of four different great colors and start spreading the word. It's a great way to open up conversations when somebody asks, why do you put your phone in that pouch? You can explain it to them. This is how we override the censorship. This is how we, with human intelligence, communicate person to person and bring back a pro-human future against this globalist AI takeover. I'm Alex Jones, and you have been warned. InfoWars, the most banned network in the world.